Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and I have a question for you. What do you think all of this stuff on my desk has in common? I hope you'll stick around, find out the theme, and find out how I'm going to challenge myself and you for the month of September. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Now to answer that question I posed to you at the beginning of the video. All of these items on my desk are things that I had to have and have yet to even open up and take out of the package. I have spent the last couple months, mainly in the summer, buying whatever I wanted to and kind of just going way overboard. So I need in September, and I did in August too, but just on the down low, I need to not buy anything crafty. So I thought what we could do this month is shop our stash. Let's get out those items that we've had around and we haven't loved on yet and put them to use. I am calling this the Shop Your Stash September Challenge. Now usually when I have one of these Shop Your Stash Challenge, there's a giveaway at the end. But I will let you know, I'm completely broke. I have no more fun money. That's why I have to do this. But don't worry, I'm hoping to maybe at the end of the year have a big giveaway. But this month, let's just do this for our own satisfaction of knowing that we've finally used some of that stuff that's been sitting in the back of the drawer or packed away in the cabinet or out on your desk saying use me but you've kind of been ignoring it. So in today's video I'm going to give you the specifics of how this challenge is going to go and then I will be sharing challenges throughout the month and asking you to join me. Let's go ahead and find out more about the challenge. I plan to stop by probably five to ten times this month and pose a challenge to myself and ask you to join me. This will be something that I have to meet using only items from my stash. Now they don't necessarily have to be unused items, but I definitely can't go out and buy anything new to create them. And I probably will try to focus on items that I've never used before just to go ahead and see how they work and put them to use. Then, if you're inspired to play along, I will have a form linked in each video where you can upload your file. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. Now, these challenges, because again, I don't want us to have to go out and buy anything new, I am trying to keep them pretty generic or open to interpretation. So, for instance, I don't think it's one that I have in mind, but if I have something about a clear element, now you know me, I'll probably make a clear card, but if you have a clear button or you want to use acetate for a shaker window or whatever you think would fit in that clear theme. Heck, you might even have a sentiment that says, I can see clearly now. I mean, anything that fits, let's just use our stash. And even though I'm trying not to spend money this month, that doesn't mean that you can't to play along. You just can't use any of those new items on your creations for the challenges. And there is one item that I do suggest you buy this month. And if you haven't already heard, I have designed my first product. It is this Knit Diamonds background stencil and it comes as part of the Not Too Shabby September Kit of the Month and you can also buy it separately. Now I will tell you both of these items, like I know my stencil for sure separately only has like a couple handfuls left and I do not think it will be restocked. So if you are interested in getting this, that might be one thing you want to buy in September. Now I will have the kit and the stencil linked below and if you purchase the stencil, I do have a coupon code for you to save 10%. 
I would love it if you would consider buying this and just support me and then let Jamie know that you like what I've created and maybe I'll get to design something else. Before we get to more specifics about the challenge, I thought maybe you've already been thinking of some items in your stash that you want to use. So I'm going to ask you today's QOTV or question of the video. I would like to know what is one of the items in your stash that you want to try to use during the September challenges. It could be a stamp, it could be a stencil, it could be a tool. Just name something that you would like to get out and use. You can answer that in the comment section below and make sure to include the hashtag, hashtag QOTV, so I know that you've answered it and want me to see it. For myself, one of my plans for a challenge is to try a technique or tool that you bought because you wanted to give it a try but never did. One of the things I own that, again, I just had to have but haven't tried yet is my Spellbinders, I think it's called Glimmer Kit, you know, the thing that puts foil on things. I want to get that out and learn how to use it. I can't wait to see your answers in that comment section below. Now back to our serious no spend business. So like I mentioned, I'll come by five to 10 times this month with different challenges. I will show you the process of how I made my card or other project for the challenge because you don't necessarily have to make cards. You can make anything where you use something from your stash and follow the challenge. Each video will be accompanied by a form so you can play along. You will put in your YouTube information, your first name, give me your email address in case I have any questions, and then you'll upload your photo. Now for your photo, because of the amount of entries I could get into this challenge, I will not be able to go through and manually add names so everybody knows who created it. So you might want to go ahead and add that watermark to your photo before you upload it. Canva would be a great way to do that if you select a landscape layout and just quickly type in some text and then save it to your computer to upload. Now the videos are in landscape format so that is always going to be the best and will help me fill the screen the most with your creation. But once again, while I won't put my watermark over your picture on my video, I will not be able to say, oh, this was created by Lisa or this was created by Mary. You will need to put that on there if you want my viewers to know. As I'm editing this video, I realized that I forgot to talk about hashtags in it. So I did want to let you know that if you plan on posting your creations on social media, that I will have hashtags in the description box and on screen for each video that I would love for you to use. That way, other subscribers who might want to see what's going on can just click on those hashtags and then see other creations as well. So the main hashtag for this month's challenge will be hashtag shop your stash September CMCA. So CMCA is just for call me crafty Al. Then for each of the challenges, I will have another specific hashtag to identify those. Now, while I won't add like photos from social media posts to the end of the month video, it will allow others to see what people are creating. And you can still always submit that photo for the video in each of the forms on the challenges. But once the challenges are all over, I would say we'll run this through hmm, October 10th maybe, just so that my last challenge in September, you still have time to play long. Once that time frame is over, then I will come back with a video just sharing all of the wonderful creations that were made with items from our stash in September. It's just going to be, I think, a fun look at how creative we can be, and you don't necessarily have to go out and buy the latest and greatest. Now, one thing I might get tripped up on this month, and again, it's because it's exclusive, so far I've been okay, but it is Stamp Timber over at Simon Says Stamp. 
and I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'll be able to live without it, but if there's a set or two I need, I might purchase that. But really, I, I've narrowed it down so much now, and I'm really trying to focus on this so I have money for Stamp Joy next month, that I think I'll be okay probably not buying. And I mean, we all probably have enough supplies to last us for years. I hope that you are excited to join me on this journey. If you are, I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave those in that comment section below. And until my next video, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.